So much about the big lie of the 2020 election came out of Colorado. We have been talking about it together for a year, and today's January 6th committee hearing laid out more claims that were, well, the stuff you get from the west end of a bull facing east. I told him that the stuff that his people were shoveling out to the public were bull, was bull. I mean, that the claims of fraud were bull. And, uh, you know, he was indignant about that. Steaming piles of election misinformation came out of Colorado, like how Denver based Dominion voting systems supposedly conspired with Antifa to rig the election. President Trump's own attorney general, Bill Barr, told him that those claims were both unfounded and profoundly dumb. I reiterated that they wasted a whole month on these claims on the Dominion voting machines, and they were idiotic claims. So who would believe that bull excrement? We have a company that's very suspect. Its name is Dominion. With the turn of a dial or the change of a chip, you can press a button for Trump and the vote goes to Biden. What kind of a system is this? It's not clear if President Trump believed the lies coming out of Colorado or if he just thought that his supporters would buy them. I was somewhat demoralized because I thought, boy, if he really believes this stuff, he has, you know, lost contact with, uh, with uh, he, he's become detached from reality if he really believes this stuff. Another Colorado connection came up in today's January 6th hearing when the committee discussed efforts to grift money from Trump supporters. A man from Castle Rock helped collect tens of millions of dollars from Trump supporters to privately build the border wall with Mexico. He's accused of pocketing some of that money. His trial just ended in mistrial. Third Colorado connection at the close of today's hearing, as we heard how President Trump's attorney, Eric Hirschman, reacted to the University of Colorado visiting Professor John Eastman's plan to overthrow American democracy. Hirschman testified he told Eastman, quote, are you out of your bleeping mind? 